So I wanted to talk about a couple of games that we know are coming down the pipeline but haven't been officially announced by Sony, Xbox, or even third-party publishers around the gaming world. Basically, I was sitting around and I decided to research a bunch of new games coming in 2021 and what will be announced in the events we are sure to have this year. I have a feeling that this year will have a lot of games announced because during 2020, a lot of developers were challenged with the mandatory work at home situation. So I have a feeling that 2021 will be bringing us a lot of games that we were supposed to be announced in 2020, but were pushed back one way or another. So being the crazy person I am, I went into a deep dive of games and studios. I have a feeling we'll announce massive amount of games this year. I hope you enjoyed the video because I did a lot of research in it and honestly a lot of these games I'm truly excited for. So let's just get straight into this. But first, like always, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. Alright, so the first company I'm going to obviously talk about is Xbox and what they have coming down into 2021. There's a lot of things here I have a feeling we don't know about and I also feel like Xbox is going to try to make the Xbox Series X a very enticing piece of hardware when the holiday season of 2021 rolls around. Which brings me to the first game I can see being announced, which is Forza Horizon 5, and it might be set in Japan like a lot of the rumors say. We know that Playground Games makes one of the best racers we've ever played in the Horizon series. It's a massive franchise, and I wouldn't be surprised if we get a new one announced in the summer of 2021 with the release date of Holiday 2021 or Early 2022. It's going to be a three-year development, so I can see that game coming out pretty soon, especially with that three-year development. Usually, they bring these games out every two years, but with everything going on right now and a lot of the first-party games coming out, I'm not surprised to see this game take an extra year to really hone in and make it into something special, which I think Playground Games can truly do. Next up revolves around Bethesda. I have a feeling they have Wolfenstein 3 ready to roll with machine games deep in development. The game is probably being held off from reveal until the Xbox and ZeniMac acquisition is all wrapped up. But if the game released in 2021, that will put the development of the studio at 4 years of development. We have to remember that the Wolfenstein 2 New Colossus was released in October of 2017. That to me is a massive amount of time for them to make a brand new game. And from what we've seen from Bethesda and ZeniMax, they have no problem announcing a game in the summer and then releasing it 5 months later. Todd Howard and the executives at Bethesda love to keep games secret until the last possible moment for an announcement. That's their MO, and with Xbox really keeping things secret also, I can see this game coming out at the end of the year with a summer 2021 announcement release date. Oh, and I have a feeling it's going to be an Xbox exclusive. Next up is Compulsion Games, the new studio that joined Xbox back in 2018 with all those other massive studios that joined Xbox during that E3 show. Now, this studio is a studio I have a feeling will surprise a lot of people, because the last game they brought out was We Happy Few, which released in 2018 which puts them at that three year mark for a new game to come out. We know the studio moved to a new building because they needed more space for the teams they have in that studio. The studio is a studio a lot of people look down upon, but I have a feeling they have a lot of things up their sleeves. They have a massive amount of talent and have grown like crazy just like every other studio that joined Xbox. Not to mention all the games they've made have been on a budget because they were independent and basically had to figure out how to keep the lights on. But with Xbox backing them, I can see them really pushing the limits of their creativity. Don't be surprised if a game is announced by them in 2021 and it's a big AAA action adventure game that will release in 2022. After that, we know about Starfield and Halo Infinite and all the other exclusive games from second party deals Xbox has. But I also have a feeling that Xbox has a pretty big deal in place with another studio that is a second party deal. This has been leaked and rumored by a lot of people to the point it has to have some truth to it. I don't know what the studio or what the game is, but I have a feeling that it will be announced in the spring or summer of this year. So those are the games I have a feeling Xbox will announce in 2021. Of course there could be way more, but those are the ones I have a feeling will happen, and I truly think that Xbox has a couple things hidden up their sleeves. But now let's move on to Sony's PlayStation 5, because I have a feeling they'll have a massive amount of games announced that people didn't see coming. I say that because one of the strategies that the PlayStation used in the PS4 era was that they showed games that were years upon years out. I mean, they showed God of War when it was two and a half years away. They showed Uncharted 4 when it was several years away. The main tagline was Greatness Awaits. They always showed the promise of great games coming to the console. It was a very solid strategy and something I have a feeling they'll continue to do with the PS5. Which brings me to the games they'll announce. 
First up is the next Uncharted game. If we remember, Uncharted 4 sold extremely well and was one of the best games during the PS4 generation. It also sold over 16 million units, which shows it was a massive success. And with that many units being sold, you can bet your bottom dollar Sony is going to continue to make that game a franchise. But it won't be the same developers from Naughty Dog. No, they're deep in development with their new IP. This is most likely being developed by the new San Diego studio that Sony has been building since early 2018. They've hired like crazy and even brought a lot of talent from Naughty Dog over to that studio. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're working on a new Uncharted game that will launch in late 2022 or even early 2023, which means they'll announce the game this summer to build up hype for the PS5 and its sales at the end of the year, which again is a strategy that Sony's really good at doing. Next up is a pretty big game I have a feeling will turn some heads, and that's Gorilla's next big game. And I'm not talking about Horizon Forbidden West, which is going to be a massive game that will truly sell a lot of PS5 consoles. I'm talking about the new studio they built within that studio, much in the vein of Playground Games where they have the Forza Horizon team who's always going to make those games and bring out that amazing racing game. They also built a new AAA studio inside of the studio to make Fable. That's exactly what's happened with Guerrilla Games, who have built a brand new studio from the ground up with a lot of talent there. They've been making this studio ever since 2018 and have been hiring like crazy. They have brought one of the lead developers from Rainbow Six Siege to help lead this team. So the first game people think about is Killzone or Resistance or older games that are pretty well known but are centric around first person shooters. But I have a feeling they're making a new SOCOM game that has been rumored for what seems like forever. So I wouldn't be surprised to see either of those games to come up. But again, I think a new AAA game is going to be announced in the summer of 2021 with an event that Sony usually has. And with the success of Horizon Zero Dawn, I think that Sony will make this game along with Forbidden West being the big graphical showpieces for the PS5. Because Guerrilla Games does make some of the best looking games we've ever seen. And that always sells systems. And I think that's the new games for Sony will announce in 2021. Now, of course, there could be some surprises and I would welcome those. I also could see them announcing Spider-Man 2 with Insomniac Games because we all know that Spider-Man was one of the best selling first party games Sony has ever made. So I wouldn't be surprised if they announce a Spider-Man game to really build up the hype for 2021 holiday season and going into 2022 for the PlayStation 5. Of course, we'll get new gameplay from Horizon 2, and I hope we get gameplay from God of War Ragnarok, which is my personal most hyped game from Sony. I can't wait to see all those games being played on the PS5 because it's truly going to push the next generation hardware to its limits. But now let's move on to third party games I'm most excited for and games we might be seeing pretty soon. First up is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2. Now I know this game came out in late 2019, but I have a feeling this game is going to be fast tracked pretty quickly. It's one of the best games to come out in the last several years, and it's by far the best Star Wars game that's come out in a very, very long time. And this is coming from someone who really enjoyed Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. I enjoyed those games and the graphics and multiplayer aspects, but they were nowhere near the quality of Fallen Order. That game did very well for EA and Respawn to the point that they've said it's the first game in a completely new franchise. That means they'll continue to build on the game and bring out plenty of games after it. So while the game is probably a little early in the announcement phase, I have a feeling they'll try to build up the hype for it in the years leading up to its release. I hope they do a much better job announcing it than they did before, where they had that random awkward interview at EA's E3 event and just said, oh, we're making a Star Wars game and it's coming out next year. Give this game the respect it deserves and have it front and center at your event because that game is insanely great. And speaking of Respawn, they're also working on a brand new IP that's been confirmed. No one knows what it is. We don't know if it's multiplayer focused like Apex Legends or single player focused. I have a feeling they'll announce this new game because EA knows they're the best developer by far in Respawn. Every single game they've brought out has been insanely good. Fallen Order, Apex Legends, Titanfall 2, you name it, they really put a lot of quality in those games. And I think EA knows this and has flooded them with a lot of money to make as many games as they can because the leadership there is top notch and they kind of operate on their own outside of EA because they have the power to do so. I expect this new IP to be announced in the summer to build a pipe for it alongside Jedi Fallen Order 2. Next up is Battlefield 6, which I'm super excited for because I truly love Battlefield games and I have a feeling this one is going to be pretty big. We know it's probably 
probably going to go back to the modern age, which is something everyone has been asking for. And after the debacle that was Battlefield 5 and the PR nightmare that game brought onto itself, this new one will focus on the gameplay and the multiplayer. I hope it has a lot more maps and guns than the last two Battlefield games, and I also hope it's a massive graphical showpiece. I say that because I also saw Battlefield as this grand scale war game where we get immersed in a huge amount of people running all over the map and really feeling like you're in a battlefield. And you throw in the rumored 128 plus players count in game and you can truly set the standard with this new battlefield. Not to mention it's going to be an Xbox Series X and PS5 only game. Obviously it's going to come to PC but it's really next gen only. EA has said they want to concentrate on the next gen hardware and not build a game from the ground up with old hardware in mind. So don't be surprised if this is the first true next generation game to release that takes advantage of the new hardware and new software of these systems. I'm very excited for it. Also, don't be surprised if we see Battlefield 3 remastered. I have a feeling that will happen also, especially with the rumors going around. And lastly, the next game I see coming is the next Assassin's Creed game. We all know that Valhalla sold pretty well and was received well for the most part, but that doesn't mean they won't have another Assassin's Creed game ready to go in 2021 or even early 2022. The team that will be making this game is the same team that made Assassin's Creed Rogue, which was the last gen 360 game along with an Xbox One and PS4 game. It was a pretty decent game for the development team behind it. This game got their feet wet and also showed they're able to make a massive AAA game. They've helped with Origins DLC and have also helped with other studios with DLC. But it's been several years since they've brought out their own Assassin's Creed game, and I have a feeling that's going to happen right now. In the summer of 2021, they'll announce the game most likely, and it will be the next Assassin's Creed game. We all know that for Ubisoft, their biggest franchise is Assassin's Creed, so expect them to bring out a true next generation title with this rogue team. And that's all the games I have a feeling are going to be announced in 2021. I know we have great games coming in 2021, but this is about games that will be announced that we haven't seen yet. And from this list, along with the other games we know about coming in 2021, we can see that the Xbox Series X and PS5 console are going to be packed with games to play. I'm extremely excited for this because gaming is the best hobby in the world, and it's great to see all these games coming down the pipeline to the consoles we all love. But enough about what I think about this, tell me what you think is coming in 2021. What other games are you excited to see in 2021? Do you think Sony has more games under wraps? Do you think Xbox has more games to announce? Which game are you most excited for? What franchise do you want to see come back? What type of game do you want to see the most out of all these developers? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. Right now, I'm still playing Call of Duty and really enjoying it. I'm going to be jumping into Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I'm not going to give Cyberpunk the time of day right now. I want to wait for all the patches to come out because I really want to be immersed in that game and I don't want to have any of those bugs come up and bite me. So I'm just going to wait for it. I'm going to play it on PC and really enjoy it because it's by far the best place to play it right now because they didn't give enough attention to the consoles, which makes me kind of sad. But hey, what can you do? I'm going to enjoy Assassin's Creed Valhalla, especially with all the next gen patches they brought out. So I'll be diving into that for the next several hours because I know that game is massive. But let me know what you're playing. Go down below. I'd love to know what everybody's playing. Are you on your PS5, your Xbox, your PC? Let me know because hey, gaming's awesome and let's talk about it. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.